Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm reviewing the new Blink-182 single, Parking Lot. Blink-182 are a band that really doesn't need much introduction. Though I've been a fan of this band for years, and, you know, pop punk I feel gets a bad rap a lot of times, you know, because lots of people don't think it's real punk or stuff, but, you know, I like all kinds of punk, whether it be hardcore or pop punk, it doesn't really matter to me. And this band in particular, I think, has grown, you know, to be the monster band that they are, because, you know, they provide a certain energy to this genre that really hasn't been matched. You know, lots of bands, I feel, lots of newer pop punk bands, and bands even going back as far as the 2000s have tried to imitate Blink-182 sound, but none have really done so to the degree that Blink-182 have, you know, managed to master throughout their career. However, recently there's been some turmoil within the band. One of the founding band members, Tom DeLong, guitarist and vocalist for the band, was recently uh, left the band or he was kicked out, I forgot exactly, because, you know, he had other obligations. He clearly didn't want to be in the band anymore. He'd rather focus on his other project, Angels and Airwaves, as well as some other stuff. And, you know, I'm kind of happy that he left because it allows Blink-182, the rest of the band, to kind of expand, do their own thing, while at the same time allowing Tom to do his own thing, which, you know, I think that musicians work best when they're doing what they really want to do. If they're kind of forced in a situation they don't want to be in, projects that aren't really as good come out of it. So before the release of their last album, California, that was released in the summer of last year, he was replaced by Matt Skiba. And, you know, lots of Blink fans have kind of, you know, been divided over whether or not he's been a good replacement or not. And, you know, there's lots of Tom DeLong fans and the Blink fan base who are kind of upset because of his loss and think it's just not Blink when he's not there. But I'd have to disagree. I think Matt Skiba is a pretty good replacement. And, you know, for all the praise I've been giving him now, I'm going to have to move into my opinions on California because... Their last album, California, I really didn't think was that good. I just kind of thought it was average. You know, when I initially heard that album, I was actually going to start make a video for that review. I know I didn't do album reviews back then. I didn't start my channel until this, you know, previous December. But I was I was tempted to start it then, honestly, because I had such strong feelings about that album. I was really disappointed when I first heard it. And, you know, with time and with more listens, I've kind of grown, you know, to like the album a bit more, in my opinion. I would have really railed against it if I had reviewed it after a few listens, but you know, now I think it's just a bit, maybe a bit above average in my opinion. I do want to review it before the release of their upcoming uh, California Deluxe Edition album, I guess you could say. It's kind of complicated. It's a deluxe edition of California, and it's 11 new songs, an acoustic version of Bored to Death, one of the songs from California. And you know, the first thing I thought is, isn't that practically just a new album with an acoustic track added on to the end? I mean, honestly, that's what it is. I don't know why there, it's a deluxe edition that has practically an album's worth of material in it. I mean, I can understand releasing a deluxe edition with a few new songs on it, like Weezer did last year with their White Album Deluxe Edition. It had some new songs or, you know, leftover tracks, as well as, a, I believe there was a live track on there. But, you know, with this, I'm not exactly sure what to think about it. But I will review this new disc from them whenever it comes out in May. And, you know, I think before that, I do want to California on the channel. I don't want to do a whole Blink discography review. I think that's just going to take way too much time, but um, maybe one day. But I definitely want to review California again in a proper review. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But the short version of my California review would be that the lyrics aren't really that developed in my opinion. They just seem kind of safe in a lot of places, fall into a lot of pop punk cliches. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark Hoppus, the bassist and vocalist for this band, he kind of feels on autopilot for a lot of it at least in the vocal department, and Maskey, but he does a great job of replacing uh, Tom DeLonge, but the only thing is his vocals at times sound really similar to Mark Hoppus's. At first when I heard Bored to Death, the lead single, when that came out, I thought that it was just Mark Hoppus on the track, honestly. And then I found out that there was another vocalist, and, you know, eventually I was able to tell the difference, but on my initial listen, I wasn't. Travis Barker does a great job at the drums, as he usually does. He's a really good drummer, and, you know, it shows. There were some really good tracks on California, however, such as Left Alone and San Diego. I thought that was a pretty good track. Uh, the title track, California, was also pretty good in my opinion. And the opening track, Cynical, was another track that I really enjoyed. So now I want to get into talking about this new track here, Parking Lot. I feel like I've wasted enough time with this backstory. And, you know, this track, it kind of sounds like a leftover track from California, in my opinion. The, you know... Initially, when artists release deluxe versions of albums, as I said before, they are kind of leftover tracks sometimes that are included. And, you know, 
I would easily believe that this could be a leftover track. It sounds a lot like California. And, you know, it, technically this isn't a new album from Blank. Technically it's just, you know, bonus tracks on a deluxe version. But I can't help thinking that this is practically a new album from them. That, you know, is just getting tagged onto another album. And the quality here is about the same for much of California, in my opinion. The lyrics aren't exactly, you know, super interesting or don't exactly break new ground, in my opinion. They talk about, you know, back in California, I guess you could say, that whole California album had lots of, you know, nostalgic moments on it. And I feel this track is kind of keeping along with that theme of nostalgia. And overall, I don't think the lyrics really, you know, hit me in any certain way that, you know, would move me. But they're not exactly bad. They're not... It's better than a lot of the lyrics on California itself, it's just it really doesn't stand out to me as much of anything. The song structure is also pretty basic, and I, it's pop punk music, so you can kind of expect that at times. However, you know, just kind of the trade-offs between uh, Matt and Mark are just kind of, you know, the same old. One does one verse, and then the other does the other, and, you know, kind of share up the chorus. It's just, you know, I feel like I heard it a lot in California, and it's not much different here. The instrumental to the track is pretty decent, with really the high point being the drums. You know, as I said before, Travis Barker is an excellent drummer. He was easily the high point of California, and he's easily the high point on this track also. But the rest, you know, the guitars, bass work is also pretty good here. I can accept it. Overall, I just kind of feel eh on this track, honestly. It's not like super bad. There was easily a lot of worse tracks on California, in my opinion, but it, this doesn't come anywhere close to the best tracks that were on California, or even some of Blink's best work overall, in my opinion. It's just, this track just feels really forgettable. I just don't really feel like I'm going to be coming back to this track that often. It feels like a leftover track or something like that. You know, if this was just a normal deluxe edition with a few extra tracks tacked on, I could easily believe that this would be there, and maybe then I wouldn't be quite as concerned. But the fact that this is practically like a whole new album coming out, and this is kind of like the lead single from that album, is a bit unnerving in my opinion, that we're just going to get either an album that's like a more watered down version of California, or, you know, maybe a track an album, rather, that's, you know, maybe just sounds really disjointed, like a bunch of leftover tracks that don't even, you know, fit together with anything. I don't really know. I'm just rambling at this point. It's, it's average is really what I'm trying to get at, though. But that was just my opinion on this track. I'm sure if you're a fan of California, you're really going to dig this track because, you know, it, it feels like a track that would belong on California. And, you know, if you didn't like California, you're probably not going to like this track. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. But, you know... If you're a Blink fan, I still recommend you check it out. I do think if it was on California, it may be one of the better tracks, but, I mean, I thought it was an average album overall, so I, maybe that just speaks for the album rather than the song itself. Uh, but check this out, though, if you're really interested, if you're a Blink fan. But, you know, if you've never liked Blink-182, there's no reason why this track would change your mind about that fact. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have an opinion on the song or anything else that you'd like to add, just leave it down in the comment section below. I do like to hear other people's opinions about songs, you know. And, yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that California and, you know, it's deluxe version review that I plan on doing in May whenever this album is coming out. So, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, thank you for watching and stay golden.